The widow's wife Choma is finally back in Nigeria. A lot of people are really excited about that, while some other persons are having mixed feelings around the whole thing. And the video of her landing at the Mohammed International Airport, Lagos, has actually made round on social media. Some people are saying we should give her a space right now because she's been through a lot. And why some other persons are saying why did she come back to Nigeria? Because she was already having a peace in the US where she gave birth to twins. Davido and Kizdane remiss twer twer. That is another big one and Davido shared a snippet of that on his uh, Instagram page and a lot of us are responding to that. A lot of Kizdane fans are really excited at Davido jumping on that particular sound and saying thank god their friendship is back to normal. Let's catch a glimpse of that also trending out on social media. Afrobeat meets football. Victor Osime at an interview decided to list some legendary artists from Nigeria that he always listened to and admire at a distance. I think Victor Osime used that opportunity to help promote and export Afrobeat as an international footballer and the calf African footballer of the year. That is a good command for Victor Osime. Let's catch a glimpse of that. Put me on to a Nigerian artist or any Afrobeat artist that I might not know. Aside from Whiskey, aside from uh, Davido, we have Ashake, we have uh, Shea Vibes, we have Omale, we have uh, Rema. Rema is one of the biggest artists now in, in the world. Rema is there, but these guys that I've called Omale, uh, Ashake, and, and Shei Vibes are also on the come up. In a few years' time, I think they are really going to like bust out just like uh, Davido, Whiskey, and Bonaparte. Boy. So for me, uh, it's it's really it's really good to to, to be coming from Nigeria. What is your own take about that? I think Vito Osime was smart around that and decided to use the opportunity to showcase the lives of Burner Boy, Whiskey, and Davido in that particular light of an interview. No grief for anybody. Rihanna actually dropped a song in the past for her accountant who owe her a lot of money. That is an interesting one and is a funny one. The interesting part of this is that this song never made it to Rihanna's album or made it to Rihanna's uh, collection to an extent. She just threw the song for the accountant to return her money. Let's catch a vibes of that. This In 2024 right now, we are saying we not go grieve for anybody when they do us anyhow. That is what it is right now. I think a lot of artists, a lot of celebrities out there, they still got their funny moment. What is your own? You have to put that in the comment section. Bora Boy Ashake has been nominated for the Brit International Artist of the Year 2024. That is a great win for Afrobeat Nigeria and a lot of their fans are really excited about that. While some other persons from African countries like Ghana, you know, South Africa, Cameroon, and Uganda, they are not really excited, saying that why is it always Nigeria at the time? You have to understand that Nigeria has made solid investment in Afrobeat, and this is paying off big time, and we are having a great time at it. At that award, also, the lives of Rema Scandal, Libyaka's People, and Tyler's Water were nominated as the best international songs of the yeah, and a lot of people are saying these guys did well in 2023 with their outstanding performances at that. And a lot of persons are saying yes. Who do you think will win it at the end of the day? Is it going to be Rema, Tyler, or Libyanka? That is a question a lot of people are really asking. For me, based on the outstanding performance of Rema Scandal, I think he may lay hand on that particular award to an extent because Rema is one artist that was really snubbed recently by Grammy. I think Rema deserved a spot or nominations at the Grammy, but he didn't get the nomination and nobody knows why. You can calm down, calm down. With that song, Rema was able to pull a billion stream on Spotify and somehow some people are saying this is the first time Nigerian African artist is pulling a billion stream on Spotify and Rema deserves a chance at the Brits Award. Odomodo Black shared a snippet of him and Tiwa Savage on a song and some people are calling it dope at a point like this. I think Odomodo Black is the rave of the moment featuring a lot of persons across music industry 
country from Nigeria to US to Ghana. This guy is having a lot of features right now and he's everywhere. Let's catch a glimpse of that snippet. What do you think of that snippet? I want you to leave that in the comment section. I was in jail for two days. That is Omale recounting his experience in Uganda after the lockdown. And a lot of people are really saying that the arrest of Omale and Thames were politically motivated. That is what some persons are saying because immediately they were arrested. We saw some Ugandans, uh, you know, artists and celebrities coming out to mock Nigerian on this. And some people are still asking the question. Was arresting Thames and Omale in Uganda right? But I feel that it's actually wrong because the organizer of that event is supposed to take responsibilities of everything. He did this recount at a recent interview in UK and that was really a sad moment for most of his fans. Now, I'm using this opportunity to call on female artists in Nigeria to do more collaborations within themselves because I need more support among themselves at a time like this. A lot of people have complained that we don't find more collaborations within the female environment than the male. And a lot of people are saying that the only way for female to support female is to have collaborations with themselves. The likes of Thames should have collaboration with Tiwa Savage, Irasta, and a lot of others like Yemi Alade. What is your own take about the story? I want you to put that in the comment section. Bora Boy becomes the first African artist to perform at Grammy's live event. That is something now being celebrated by his fans out there. And a lot of people are really getting interested in the big stories of Bernard Boy. Before 2019, we had two big artists, but Bonner Boy breaking through 2019 now became three big artists in Nigeria. And these guys are ruling influences across Africa. This is the first time we're going to see an African artist perform at Grammy's live event come February 4th, 2024. And a lot of people are really gearing up for that day and really excited at a time like this. What is your own take about that big story? Somebody has come out to say, you know what? Brother Boy is really a fantastic artist but there was big two before the coming in of burner boy in 2019 this is coming in from a podcaster who said it at a recent uh, podcast show a lot of people are really giving attention to this guy ever since he made that particular statement let's catch a glimpse of that in my calendar okay there was top two only up until 2019 before that there was nothing like top three Benner boy did not get in my eye ben, in my calendar Benner boy did not get in a mix that top three mix up until 2019 when african giant was released he was not in the top three there was no top three then nigeria what's up that is coming in from me Mills right now i think this guy is looking for a collaboration with a nigerian artist this guy can go with the likes of davido remember that he had a collaboration with davido in the past and that video or the song was actually banned by NBC on air. I think this time around, he's actually soliciting for a collaboration based on him coming after Nigeria at the time in recent outbursts of tweets that he's making on social media. 